Good afternoon, everybody. A nice formal welcome to join us today. We're here with, of course, the state of Ohio, with Wilberforce University, the Cincinnati Reds, and the Reds Community Fund to make a very special set of announcements this afternoon. Before we get going, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce a number of very special guests. First of all, beginning with the 70th governor in the history of the state of Ohio, dating back to 2019, Governor Mike DeWine is here with his wife, Fran. <laughs> to the governor's right is the president of Wilberforce University, Dr. Alfred Pinkert. From our Cincinnati Reds and Reds Community Fund group, we have the Reds Senior Vice President of Business Operations, Karen Forgus. The Reds Vice President of People and Culture and a Wilberforce alum, Victor Livesey. And we have the talented tandem, our Director and Assistant Director from the Reds Youth Academy in Roselawn, which is a part of the Reds Community Fund, Jerome Wright and Jeremy Hamilton. Looking to my left, we have the athletic director from Wilberforce, Mr. Derek Williams. We have the leader of the Reds RBI baseball program and the head coach at LaSalle High School, Roosevelt Barnes. Additional guests from Wilberforce University, we have uh, Dr. Johnny Jones, their provost and vice president of academic affairs. We have Natalie Coles, who is their vice president of institutional advancement. And from their uh, media relations and public relations, Marsha Barnard. So, a little bit of history here. Uh, Wilberforce University had a baseball program, but it dates back roughly 80 years to the early 1940s. They included a Hall of Famer by the name of Ray Brown, who was inducted in Cooperstown in 2006, played the majority of his years with the Homestead Grays of the Negro Leagues. Wilberforce University is the nation's oldest private historically black university with roots tracing back to its founding in 1956. And we're here to, excuse me? Oh, 1856. Yeah, let's tack another 100 years on there. Thank you, Dr. Picker. So there's a lot of history that we're going to get into today, and we'll explain more of that as we go. Uh, but first, again, it's my pleasure to introduce our first speaker. He is the governor of the state of Ohio, Mr. Mike DeWine. I'm not sure I should be the first speaker because uh, you're going to get the news later on. Uh, I'll do the, a little preview. Um, for me and for, for my wife, Fran, and I, this is a, a very exciting day. Uh, we are lifelong Reds fans, uh, big baseball fans. As some of you know, we also, our family owns a minor league baseball team in Asheville, uh, North Carolina. Our son, Brian, runs it. But we also live about five miles from Wilberforce. Um, and Wilberforce University, as you've heard, uh, has an, an amazing history uh, with some amazing alums. And the president and I were, were just talking about some of the things that uh, Wilberforce is going to be doing in the future. Uh, they're, they're moving forward. Uh, today's announcement, obviously, is about baseball. So you'll get to, you'll get to hear that. But, uh, before you hear it, let me just say this is an exciting day for me. Uh, I think it's, it's a great thing um, what the announcement is going to be about. And I can also tell you that, on a personal note, Fran and I have sent off eight children to college and uh, now a number of grandchildren. And one of the things that many kids, as they're looking at colleges, um, our kids have all been runners and not baseball players, runners. But one of the things that kids always think about if, if they really like sports uh, is, can I run at this school? 
Can I play basketball at this school? Can I play baseball? Can I play golf? Wh wh whatever that is. And so I think uh, the announcement today uh, is going to be one more tool, frankly, uh, that Wilberforce will have. One more reason for young people to look to Wilberforce uh, as a college uh, to go to. So, exciting day, and I'll turn it back to the, uh, the main attractions who are going to talk about exactly what the announcement is today. Thank you. To Governor DeWine and to Fran and to the governor's staff, thank you so much for making this uh, an unscheduled stop today. This came together quickly, and given your proximity and connection to Wilberforce and given your uh, your deep passion for the game and your long-standing support of the Reds, it's, it's just outstanding that you're here. You know, Major League Baseball has a number of youth academies and urban academies. They began through the efforts of Joe Morgan uh, back in 2006 in Compton, California, and the Reds were uh, fortunate to be able to open our own facility in 2014, and it's created some remarkable outcomes, which we'll talk a little bit about here. Uh, but there is a, a parallel. In 2012, Major League Baseball also opened their New Orleans Youth Academy, and uh, just over the last couple of years, New Orleans has welcomed in Xavier University of Louisiana, which is another historically black college and university, uh, as a primary tenant at their academy. And they just kicked off after a 60-year uh, hiatus. They're back playing baseball thanks to MLB and the New Orleans Academy. But as Governor DeWine said, the, uh, the star of the show today is certainly uh, our representatives from Wilberforce University. Uh, and introducing their president here, a little bit of background. He has his bachelor's degree from Morehouse, a master's from Howard University, uh, a doctorate at Harvard. He's a longtime leader with the United Negro College Fund. He arrived at Wilberforce in March of 2018. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Alfred Pinkard. Thank you very much uh, for that very gracious uh, introduction. Sometimes I don't rec recognize uh, who you're talking about. But at any rate, I am very, very excited uh, to be here this morning. And thank you, Governor. Uh, for, for being here as well, giving uh, this event uh, even additional gravitas. Um, you've already heard about the history of Wilberforce. It is an incredible, incredible institution with roots here in the city of Cincinnati. It was here in this city uh, in the mid 18th century uh, that people of goodwill, both white and black Americans, came together and imagined an institution of higher learning uh, for people who uh, were enslaved in the American South. Uh, the idea of Wilberforce was bold and visionary, and it was disruptive. But for 165 years, this institution has existed uh, in the lives of individuals, students, who want to change their lives and who want to change the world. We say always that we are an institution of possibility. We are a place of possibility. And today, something additional has become possible for our students. And so we and I stand here on behalf of the Wilberforce University family to thank the Cincinnati Reds for having the courage uh, and the compassion to come forth and to partner with an institution like Wilberforce. Big things are about to happen for us, and we are very, very excited to be a part uh, of this incredible partnership. And so thank you all for being here today. And I have to say that uh, in an America that has become increasingly polarized around issues of politics and race and social class, uh, what we see today and what I look out today as I see black Americans and white Americans coming together for something that is good for everyone. This is representative of what occurred in 1856 right here in the city of Cincinnati. So we are continuing an important and a proud tradition of Americans standing up for e pluribus uno, out of one many, out of many one. So thank you all. This is much more, much more than just a partnership. Uh, this speaks to who we are as a nation. 
and I am very, very happy to be a part of this and glad that you have joined Global Force on this incredible journey. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Dr. Pinkard. Well, the next two gentlemen you're going to hear from are really the two architects of what we're here to celebrate today. The first is in his fifth year at Wilberforce, his third in the role of athletic director. A lot of folks locally may recognize him. He was an assistant athletic director and assistant baseball coach and girls basketball coach over at Western Hills High School. He continues as in his role as a head basketball coach for girls at Wilberforce, in fact, coming off a triumphant weekend out of the country. So congratulations. Uh, please join me in welcoming the athletic director at Wilberforce, Mr. Derek Williams. Thank you, thank you. And again, thanks to everyone that came out today. Thank you, Governor DeWine, for taking the time. I also want to say thank you to the Cincinnati Reds, Jerome, Mr. Jerome Wright and, and uh, Youth Academy, um, and as well as my coll colleagues and President Pinkert for coming out and the support that you give, um, given me with this idea. Um, right now, the only thing I can say is, wow, what an amazing, amazing opportunity. Um, history's in the making. Wolf Wars baseball had, we had baseball back in the 30s. We've taken a break, and uh, it's been a dream and a goal talking with Brother Borns about bringing baseball back to Wolf Force. As the AD, when I took over, I had a goal and a dream of continue growing our athletic department. And to see this day come into fruition is just amazing. Um, at Wilbur Force, we have a saying that we are the first in the future. Well, with this partnership, you have the first in baseball, you have the first in private colleges in, in, in HBCU realm coming together um, to, build, to build a partnership to, give, to provide to our youth, um, to give them an opportunity to continue playing the game of baseball um, and, and getting their education. And I can't think of anything better than that in itself. Um, again, I'm related and just want to say thank you. I'm looking forward to working with the Reds and the MLB and the Youth, uh, the youth Academy and uh, ready to go. I'm excited for, to get this baseball program off the ground. Thank you, Derek. So last but not least is an individual who has truly moved mountains with the Reds, the Reds Community Fund, our Reds RBI program, and in our academy. He is also a Wilberforce alum. He is uh, someone who has sent children to HBCU schools. And he was really the one with the vision, not only as the leader of our RBI program, having just completed our first RBI uh, Senior Baseball Boys Championship, so congratulations and thank you again for that success uh, down in Florida, but Roosevelt Barnes is also the, the first black head coach, baseball head coach at LaSalle, the first black baseball head coach in the GCL. He is someone who has consistently been breaking through barriers, and again, he is the one that really saw the opportunities with one of the nearby HBCU schools and the great things happening at the Reds Academy and through our RBI program. And here to give you a little bit more of the vision is head coach Roosevelt Barnes. Good, good afternoon to, to everyone here. It's what a great day for uh, two communities, Cincinnati and uh, the community of Wilberforce. And, uh, I am honored to be here. Uh, I'm happy that uh, a vision that uh, actually started with a conversation with my wife about three years ago. Uh, thank you for putting up with all that I do. Uh, has now turned in to this, and um, you know the overall goal is to continue to impact the lives of young men and to do that through the sport of baseball. And uh, I'm really happy about it. Uh, I can't thank uh, Charlie and uh, Jerome Wright, and Jeremy and those guys. Uh, I throw so much stuff at them, you know, about what can we do at the academy and uh, their answer is always yes. 
And uh, for that, uh, I'll be forever grateful. Uh, they allow me uh, to put my ministry forward to serve the lives of these young men. Uh, you know, I'm looking for big things as the academy continues to grow. This venture is going to be great for Wilberforce, of course. It's going to be great uh, for the academy. Uh, and we will connect the other academies uh, across the country as we continue to provide opportunities uh, for young men and even the playing field in the game of baseball. Thank you. You know, Roosevelt has certainly stepped up and done great work. We have our Reds Community Fund RBI signing day event, and over the past two years, we've sent six young men and women to HBCU schools, including uh, Morehouse, including Tuskegee, including Kentucky State and others. But we're so excited that beginning in the fall of 2022 and with the spring season in 2023, that pipeline will include Wilberforce University right here in Ohio. So this is just the beginning. There will be plenty more to come. We are working uh, rapidly between the administration with the Reds and the university on what the details will mean. There will be many. We can tell you right now that really the goal is to collaborate with Wilberforce to create opportunities for their students to interact with this great Reds organization. And that will mean opportunities to play at the Reds Youth Academy here in, uh, in the Roselawn neighborhood. It will mean opportunities to train if they see fit uh, during the fall and winter at our facility. It will mean uh, opportunities, again, for their students to interact with the business side of the Reds organization and with, of course, alum, alumni on both sides, with Roosevelt and Victor and many others, and with this talented Reds team, um, the sky's the limit. And we can't wait in the very near future to share even more details of what that will mean. But for now, we couldn't be more excited as the Reds organization, the, the Reds Community Fund, we have the Reds Hall of Fame and Museum here as well, to welcome Wilberforce University as a partner and to wrap our collective arms around them as they begin the process of bringing back baseball after just that little 80-year hiatus, uh, beginning in the fall of 22 and the spring of 20. This beautiful backdrop of the mosaics and this beautiful day that Karen Forgus arranged for us uh, weather-wise. So um, thank you to all the Reds. Thank you to Michael Anderson for pulling all these pieces together. And at this point, Michael is giving me the international sign for a group photo. So if we could get everyone uh, in front of the podium, and then we welcome the media for uh, any one-on-one -on -one interviews following the photos. Everyone, thank you so much for being a part of today's announcement. <laughs>